Welcome, Mr. Plots Politics. In response to the former president's statement, the presidency has rejected allegations of poor management of Nigeria by President Buhari, referring to Obasanjo as the divider in chief of the country. Presidential spokesman Garba Shehu said Obasanjo attempts to divide the nation while President Buhari continues to promote nation building and the unity of Nigeria. Also in response to these, the former governor of Kaduna State, Balarabi Musa, stated that Obasajo contributed to the present state of the country, but that Obasajo made it worse. Joining us to discuss this is Niyi Akinshiju, chairman, Buhari Media Organization. Good evening, Niyi. Good evening. Yeah, good to have you again. It's quite a long time. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's, let's quickly get the conversation going. Um, just a few days ago, we listened to the president telling the ministers and the aides, and by extension to people like you, saying that uh, you, it is time to blow your trumpet rather than just allowing critics. And he used some strong words against some critics. Uh, but some will believe that um, that sounds quite unsportmanly for you to reject criticism. Is this another case where the former president was described as divider in chief? Are you one of those people who subscribe to that description? Uh, that a uh, former president is, uh, is a divider in chief. Well, I think, uh, yes. I, I just want to make sure I get you right. Uh, but if that is the context of your question, and that, by that I mean to say that uh, the president, in a, I mean, the president in a statement described a former president of the as divider in chief on the heels of his uh, submission at uh, a meeting of, um, of ethnic immigrants. Uh, uh, now, my position is that um, that description of the uh, Obasanjo is very, very appropriate. One, Obasanjo, by that pronouncement, and by his activities in the recent past, has shown that in his happening, he has not comported himself, not conducted himself as a statesman. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, uh, General Massinger has only spoken as a chieftain of the people of opposition people's democratic party and has used the ethnic evidentist group as an extension of the campaign against the APC and of course the presidency of the president. The, 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 the speech of the matter is when a president, a former president, was to intervene in a matter of national importance or urgency. There are basic requirements and expectations. But if you have decided to go, you know, to the guy, to play to the guy, with, and he has always, I mean, in 2018, effectively, he has uh, shifted to the opposition people's party, and it is the Democratic Party. The major group at that meeting, the Northern Elder Forum, the Afghanistan group, the Wallaces Ibo, are all members of the PDP. They are, they are not, they are not just protest members, they are declared acting public members of the PDP. For the Afghanistan started in 2014, 2015. For Afghanistan in the book, started in 2014. Let's quickly uh, interject there just to get some clarity. I, I do not understand what you mean by that. Are you saying that Yinka Odumaki is a card carrying member of PDP? Are you saying that uh, Adebanjo is a card carrying member of PDP? And if you look at, excuse me, uh, and if you look at that statement, you could see the array of people who jumped in to say that Obasanjo was correct. I'm talking about the Oanese. I'm talking about the Afeni Ferry. I'm talking about the Pandev. And the rest. are you saying that these are all voices of opposition? 
Try or they try or they please carry the plan to come here. I am not I'm not saying anything that is new. What was the position of the attorney family in pieces of in pieces of the party bank there in the twenty fifteen general election? They campaigned outwardly for the PDP candidate. Okay. The same thing happened in twenty nineteen. It was a declarative position, it was not protest. You know, the same thing with the one again the book. The same thing with not that ever forum. Now, I have just said that to clarify the context of this discussion to the extent of defining what uh, Ambassador declared as uh, Nigerian being on the brink of the state state. Any, any normal thinking individual will not describe a country that Nigeria as it is today as being near a first state. It shows, it shows mystic. Because I believe that General Basu John is a member of the respected Nigerian intelligentsia. And to that, to that extent, it didn't have, you know, did, uh, uh, deliberately use that kind of adjective to describe Nigeria as today. When you talk of a state being a state state, you are talking of the country that has a government in place. Or where the government is in place, it lacks legitimacy. We are talking of the government that is under the control of insurgents and rebellion and the, and the, 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 the rebellious people. Yeah, the territorial integrity of that uh, country is compromised. The way through that, we okay. you can only describe the way Nigeria is in the this description. Okay, it does not apply to the current to the current uh, Nigeria that we are talking about. And I read both to say that President Zari is a better president than than former president of the Matinjawel University office. Though most intelligence and elite and the former economies have decided to cover up the fact that between 2014 and 2015, second quarter, third quarter 2014, and second quarter 2015, four consecutive quarters, we experienced diminishing gross domestic products. It is rather sad that when Nigerian economies have come out, or elite have come out, to say that they had reported four consecutive quarters of economic decline. Okay, Nii, Nii, let's, 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 let me, let me, let me ask you more questions so that we can, uh, um, uh, you know, cover some grounds. Uh, uh, let me look at the statement of Ambassador mentioned, and maybe this might be a case, and listening to Yinka Odumaki, he said he does not believe that Ambassador is a thing. He does not believe that Ambassador is perfect. But can we look at the message and discard the messenger trying to look at the, the veracity of some of the things he said? Let me give you some of the quotes. Looking at him addressing the gathering, he said, I do appreciate that you all feel sad and embarrassed as most of us feel as Nigerians with the situation we find ourselves in. Today, Nigeria is fast drifting to a failed and badly divided state Economically, our country is becoming a basket case and poverty capital of the world. So I, I'm saying that uh, if you look at it, is this, are these issues uh, 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 debatable? Seriously, I cannot hear you clearly, but wow. I want to argue that I got the part of it that I was talking to. Uh, uh, and if you look at the message and not the meeting, the okay. message, the, the, that is being immoral. For the, the quality of the message, the acceptance of the message is directly correlated to the character that is, that is delivering that message. And that is why we always ask when somebody is saying something, what is the pedigree of that person? You don't just take anybody can come to the public place and say something, but whatever that person says is taken with 
see that yes, or, or otherwise, depending on the pedigree of that person. So, as far as I'm concerned, I am, I have, it is my duty, and I think it is the duty of any reasonable person in Nigeria, the link of the character of the person, the pedigree of the person, and what they are said now. That is one. Then two. The present day material. Then Robert Sondo is that statement, and I will link it up with what you said there in the transcript. He, he said Nigeria has become the capital of poverty, the poverty capital in the world. I read these are some of the inappropriate, mysterious manipulation of facts and figures, just to stop political points. The speech of the matter is in the public space. Between 2004 and 2010, Nigeria, in fact, in 2004, when the, Nigeria, when the National Bureau of Statistics conducted a health count of poverty in this country, 107 million Nigerians were living under one dollar. In another six years, when the conduction of mobile work, precisely in 22, 112 Nigerians were living under one dollar. Now fast forward to 2019, because there was no excess to get between them and 2019. In 2019, there was another nine times. You know how many Nigerians are now living under one dollar a day? It has reduced to 83 million Nigerians. Hmm. Who is the better manager of the city? We are talking of a period when there is no resources coming to a different country. It is obvious fact. You know? And I just told you that it was one that stopped us from going into the first recession in 2015 because when it came in, we received four consecutive months of pipeline in our GDP. It was the third quarter of 2015 that it came in, but there was a return in the Nigeria GDP in 2015. That shows a better precedent. Okay. The first better precedent because that's the fact that I... we have lower income, either in terms of price of food or, or the quantity of food that they are producing, he, he has been able to manage it. It's not so good. Okay, Ni, let's, let's also look at some of the things he said. Uh, I hope you hear me this time around. Can we look at mm. the issue of unity? Um, since you mm -hmm. said we must also talk about the messenger, Abbasajo was described in so many lofty words that he was a true nationalist, that at a time while he was in power, he even took side with people against the OPC. So do we have that of the current president? The, the current president has shown himself to be a Nigerian leader. However, everybody wants to describe it. First, I mean, it is really not the first time I've been engaged on, on, on this uh, argument, especially by people from that other side. Now, what I have is what are the indicators we are using to determine or decide that this person has not inside this country? Because a number of people are determined and stupidly. Aside whatever criminality that has happened in this country over the last, I mean, over the last 18, 24 months, there are about, to, uh, to pull out that same person. I think there are not been kidnapping. Kidnapping that started on, on, on the whole scale level in 2001. I think there have not been armed robbery in this country, but the armed robbery taking effectively became popular in Nigeria in 1970-71. And had been on, I think there are not the assassination. In 2002 or 2002 or then, the uh, attorney general of the same general uh, ambassador was assassinated. And so many other top government officials were assassinated during that period between 1990 and 2007. So, what are we saying? So, this, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, the perpetrators of this criminal act at that time were full of them. So all of a sudden, 
the criminality community in Nigeria has pushed out all the okay, nee. and are now populated by, by full of me. Okay, nee, uh, let me quickly allow you a round off because I got a signal that I got to round off. But I want to give you this next 60 seconds to round off. Please keep it at 60 seconds. I, I want to okay. suggest that um, we cannot ignore the apex group of the Southeast that, talking about the Oanese. We cannot ignore the apex group in Southwest talking about the Afeni Ferry. One of the issues the Pastor John mentioned is the fact that we stopped the issue of dialogue. We stop talking to one another. What is this president saying in bringing people together and you know, explaining himself, his intention, rather than ignoring them? Stop that speech. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not stop that speech. So, Grinty, defined by any means of any standard, is about the people voting for people to represent them. Okay. If people do not become the perspective of a, of, a, of a community, of a town, of a zone, of a region, based on how they have been talking in the media. Okay. So if we have a national assembly that people voted for, those are the representatives of the people at a good time. Whoever is looking out for dialogue will go and stand in this community. Let the people invest their thoughts in him. I let him now study that thought. This is the mandate of the people and take it to the National Assembly and transform and set on that behalf. Okay. So because people talk and address such conferences every day, they have become uh, they have become the representative of the people. Thank you so much, uh, Nia Kishijo. I'm so sorry our time is fast spent. I wish this conversation can continue. But from time to time, we will keep the conversation on our, all our social media and let the conversation continue from there. Thank you once again, Nia Akishiju, Chairman, Buhari Media Organization, BMO. And to our viewers, uh, we'll take a break now. And when we return, I'll be giving you my take on this issue. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take. Today, Nigeria is fast drifting to a failed and badly divided state. Economically, our country is becoming a basket case and poverty capital of the world. And socially, we're firming up as an unwholesome and insecure country. This is part of what former President Olusha Gombasa just stated. Probably, this is another classical case of take the message and ignore the messenger, or is Malangarba Shehu rising to the occasion based on the charge the commander-in-chief gave to the ministers and aides a few days ago to blow their trumpet? Day in, day out, news and reports of conflict, corruption, kidnappings and murder, threats of recession or secession fill the front pages of our national dailies. It wasn't the perfect president during his tenure, but is that enough for him to be indifferent to the worrying state of the nation? I posit that those who have insulted ex-president Obasanjo either did not understand his intention or trying to feign ignorance as regards the state of the nation. I, however, disagree with the statement of the ex-president which says that one of our major problems in the past was that we do not dialogue enough. Well, I believe that we talk too much and that we do very little and we do not achieve anything. We need to stand up and act. The honors lies on those given the mantle of leadership in the country. Step up or else. I believe more letters from the former president's and clamor from the citizens of this country for a positive change will only increase. And that's my take on tonight's Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. I remain yours truly, Coyote Ladeinde, saying bye for now. <laughs>